See how I do that? I bring that energy from deep within myself. And I push it out. So my solar plexus, what my core is, my chakra is turning, they're spinning. I get them to come together and it's just it's all in the spin, the spinning. So I'm pitching them and while they spinning, they pushing the power out because the energy, when you push something, you start seeing energy coming from whatever you push it. So I'm pushing that energy away from my chakras, first of all, away from, in, from my solar plexus, but I'm bringing up the, I'm bringing up the line. And when I bring it up the line, I push it out. So when it comes out of me and it comes out of my head, it comes out of my third eye, it pushes everything out. So it's like it's like a little old dot and get pushed out, get spread or bigger, it's pushed out. Just push out like that. That is how I push the energy from my body. But what I'm doing, I'm putting a force field around my body. So nothing can enter my circle or my pyramid, which I like to call my more. Because MR is more, and MR means pyramid, as in Mr. or Melanin Rich. That's my pyramid, that's my more, that's my inner core. So when I get up and I awaken it, I always bring the energy from my body from whatever my dreams they just come from. I bring all the information back to me, and that's why it's always inside of here. So when you hear me in videos, I go, like, I'm talking because I'm bringing the information that I still have down there. But so I brought it up this time first, anyway. Now, somebody, I know I didn't say no greetings. I forgot, man, I don't forget nothing. 13 love, 13 wisdom, 13 knowledge, and 13 respect. Some is still on trying to have an OBEs or out of body experience or astral travel and stuff like that. I'm going I'm, I'm to give my help. I'm going to give it to you. It's so simple right now. It also has to do with meditation. Meditation is freeing your mind, coming to a, a free state. How I got into myself to clear my mind, to get to my island or wherever, I started with nine, 90 seconds because nine is that infinity number again, that ethereal number. So you, right now you live in, the way I'm talking, I'm speaking from left brain. But I'm, I'm a right brain person. So I'm going to always bring stuff from reverse, like counting backwards. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See, now I'm making my right brain overlaps my left brain. You know, you practice this daily and stuff, and you get to start just saying things backwards. Like, it's something inside me every time. If I pick up a magazine, I always go to the back page. I pick up a book, I go to the back page. <laughs> and I start just through the back chapter like that. Then I just I just glance over from the back to the front. I, that's just me. Then I read that book or story. I'm weird. But I thought I was weird. I'm a right brain thinker. So this is what you do. You get into your cross your legs like I say do, crossing your points, cross your legs like that. You know, like you gotta pee, ooh, gotta pee. You know, you do that stuff like that. And um, you can cross your points here, cause you know these are the points here too. Just cross some of your points up there. You might might fall asleep, whatever it is, that's that's for do it. But or just just sit up here like this or whatever you want. You wanna cross them points and get that energy right. So start counting slow. If you're sitting in your lotus stands or whatever, you're sitting up, you, you wanna be comfortable. So the best way is lying down. No, so you leave your body, your spirit leave your body, your body will be falling and crashing and stuff. So you lie down. Count for like 90 seconds. You can do 100 seconds to make it easy with you. So you go 100, 99, 90. You want to do it that way. They even had a little thing, story. They should try to tell you that um, 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer, and one of them bottles are better than that. 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 98 bottles. That is really right brain thinking because you're counting down, you're going backwards. It's a game. Teach yourself. Play yourself. Change the words up. 99 bras or girls on the wall. 99 bob boobs of beer or whatever. You know, change it around. Have something something that can do for you. But that's just, I'm trying to try to, come on, come on with your own idea. Don't ask me, what if I say this? Because some dumb person going to say, what if I say cats? 99 cats on the wall. 
these these, these, these the retarded comments I be getting from people. But he just count them backwards. A hundred, so I put a hundred, but I like ninety. So because ninety is a minute and a half, you know, minute and a half, whatever, six nine, six and thirty nine. That's me. Ninety seconds, ninety, eighty nine, eighty eight, eighty seven, eighty six. You can say sheep jumping on the wall, ninety sheep or whatever. Just but just count backwards. Ninety, eighty nine, eighty seven, eighty six, eighty five, eighty four, eighty three. 82, 81, 80, 79. You count it down. And as you count it down, you, your voice can be slowing down too. Your heart rate starts slowing down. Everything starts slowing down inside of you. When you get all the way down to one, before you get down to one, things are going to be popping in your head because when you count it back, you're going to be hearing like inside your left brain, your left brain, oh, like, oh no, he's trying to wake up. So your left brain went out through your right brain. Your left brain decided to send all kinds of signals over there like, remember that show? You got to block that show out. That show going to come in your brain. Block it out. And keep on counting down. Oh, oh, call, call Jennifer. No, block her out. You know, no. Here's come Johnny. You know, block him out. They're gonna keep coming at you, coming at you while you're counting down. So while you keep counting down, you keep counting down. Don't let nobody. Don't, don't think about nobody else. Don't think about nothing. It's all about freeing your mind. So you what you're doing? You you just washing all that stuff out. You washing it. You put gonna put him into a box. You gonna put the whole left side of the brain into a box. So you get all the way down to one. You still ain't all the way ready yet. So now go back up. You just did 90 seconds down. Now go back up 30 more seconds. So you're feeling like you're doing like a minute and a half. And a minute and a half, you should be good. But go back up 30 more seconds and start for 30 seconds again. Because just went the 90 down to, to one. Now go back up again, 30. Start again, 30. Or 30 or 40. Which one, are you, which one is better for you, which you think you might need until you get used to this? 30, 29, 28. So by the time you get down this time, you should be really good. And that should, that should clear your head out. That should clear your head out a lot. You should be free-minded. And by that time, your body, your, you'd be in a dream-like state of free-minded. And you can see yourself as two beings, as a spirit being and a human being. Because you're not a human having a spiritual experience. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. But you, they, don't, they didn't tell you this. So somebody put you in a cage and lock you up. That's why it's very important with the right foods to eat. You're eating bad foods, bad things, you can't do nothing. Okay? Because you're putting your spirit into a trap, into a cell. So you have all these cells in your body, you're blocking all the cells up. So he just, he's strapped, he's caught between all the cells. He, God, he's a he man inside your body. Struggling, this fat fuck. Got me stuck in all this fat around me. I can't move, can't do a goddamn thing. That's your spirit inside of you, pissed off. And you keep just killing your spirit, locking him up. Clock, clock. He pissed at your ass. <laughs> it don't tell you some good stuff because what you eat it affects your spirit too your food got to go to your stomach stomach solar plexus so it's very important to eat right foods when you do eat that sun energy now when you got into your little dream like state picture your spirit Feeling the exit of your body, leaving your body. Some like just rise out of the body. Sometimes, sometimes I tell you, you jump in bed, boom, you jump in bed sometimes like that. Your legs jumping out. That's that spirit leaving out and coming back in, or he can't get out all the way because you got all that junk inside your body. Like I can torture another video. But that spirit, picture your spirit, leaving your body. It's going to be scary. Sometimes it's scary because you do look back up. Because the first time you get free outside your body, you're going to look back. You look back at your body. That's that's the that's the normal thing what everybody do when they conscious. Because you leave. Some people leave out their body every night, but they don't know they leave because they're in a dumb dream state. So they don't know what they so they can't remember, have, remember their dreams or they have their lucid dreams and all this stuff they want to call them. But when you when you get into that melanin world, or melanin spiritual world, when you get into that melanin side of everything, that's when you get your proper sun on and everything like that. When you can get out that way and you conscious about it, that's why I say count down. See now you got your right brain thinking of your conscious, you, you can see all the stuff that you're gonna do now. Now you can see your body leaving. So you come out and you look, turn right. I look so peaceful sleeping like a little baby. I'll be back. So you go to travel the spiritual world. Now you can go stay around here on this, around the house, flying around the house, doing what you're doing, the spirit. Some spirits want to look at just travel around the house, a little freaky trying to go peek on people in the rooms and stuff. You stay in the house with other people. That's a, that's called a spiritual stalker. You go to, I'm gonna go see what my girlfriend doing. He want that's all see that's what that's a weak minded person there. So she wanna go stalk to see what somebody else doing. I'm gonna go to Jenny's Jenny house. Fly over to Jenny house. Seeing what she's doing, who she's on the phone, with. you know. That's then he wake up. They wonder why they call Jenny, call him on the phone. Hey, baby, what? 
And you wonder why the guy got an attitude because he's been, he been spiritually stalking you in the spiritual world. And he like he don't even know it because he was unconscious when he went. But he knows something was wrong. Like, I don't trust this bitch. I know she's cheated on me. But he don't know why she cheated on me because he don't know what he saw. He saw his body putting it to her ass. <laughs> but he was asleep. But if he would have went there with right brain thing at first, he could see and then he'd come and say, Jenny? Why was you and Johnny making love? And she like, oh, oh my God, where, where, where you have a camera in my house? He would, she would be surprised. Cause you went there from the right brain first so you was conscious and you saw that. But don't be a spiritual stalker, don't go doing that stuff. Go find, go try to go there to the fourth realm and you could try to beat your ancestors and stuff like that. See, can you be a spiritual person who can help you out and guide you the right way? Or go up, try to go further meet your twin self. That's when you get in that fourth realm, you get some cats and cats will guide you through the fourth realm. Cause you can get in that fourth realm, you ain't going no higher than that. Or unless you have gotten back right and they can get you to that fifth and all you can still see stuff. And you can go see a world where everything is about thoughts. Where there's no material bull crap. Like having a, a big material spaceship and all this kind of bull crap. When your body is the spaceship. Your Merkaba. Mind, body, and spirit. But you don't hear me though. You still thinking this malaria this is the material world down here with the big old the big old body ships down here. I keep telling this stuff. Man, use 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 the body of light, photosynthesis and all this kind of stuff. Photosynthesis, all this bull. It's you. But let me get back to this astro chart. When you leave out, you 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 gonna get out and go places and stuff like that, and then and then time your long clock come on, you you come out. But wherever you wanna go in the world at that certain time, if you wanna go over the Rome, you can boom. You right there and you will be in Rome, like boom. You can go see all this kind of stuff. That's why I tell you if I can be anywhere anytime. When you get good, you can go back into the past. You can go back in the future. You wanna go back and see Hitler? I, I used to love going around fucking around now. I used to scare the, I scared the crap out of them still. They call it, it's called Hitler poopy pants. You know why they start wearing them pants like they be wearing like them kind of pants like that? Poopy pan pants. Cause they had diapers on cause I used to scare the crap out of them. <laughs> That's what I know about him and Mussolini. Go look it up. <laughs> Let me get off, let me get off that. But that's why I can tell you about all these little people like his Rosh because I know how to go outside myself and go into other realms. Go into other go back into the dimensions or go back into time. I know how to do all this stuff. No, it's not you just not for this do it. It ain't that if it feels that easy, the whole world be doing it. But you get at a point in time well, the earth is vibrating faster, but that's why we we moving higher to a higher dimension. And you can you can be able to do all this stuff because you have to be prepared for this next round. That's why I know what I say, 85% ain't gonna make it. They're gonna get to a certain point, they, boom, they come back. They're gonna stuck in 3D. Simple as that. Your vibration has to be at a certain rate, on a certain rate, which is which is like light, light speed. So you have to be spent light 13 and light speed. So you have to be vibrating at a higher vibration and you'll be right along with earth so everything earth do you can feel it in your body now she can have an earthquake oh body shake for no reason like, oh man dancing over here doing the hollow shake something you know you know you 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 become one with earth because that's the mother shit. so you come part of that crew which we're all part of the crew but some crew don't even working out here that's why i keep telling people i ain't no light work i'm gonna get that light working crap off my to get me away from it don't put me in your new age movement your Vatican movement, New Age, one to come to the light. Ain't no such thing. You come to the light of dark. You that light, that light they trying to get you to is a light that you don't want to go, that you want to stay the fuck away from. That light there is a big burning fire of light. And your 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 master there, Jehovah, your Rothschild, the Red Shield. Rothschild is Red Shield. <laughs> Who is Red Shield? Red Cross. That's your light that you're going to. That's why all your entertainers, everybody, they go into that light. So when you leaving that just your um your out of body experience, going that stuff, you don't go toward the light. Oh, there's so bright light over there. What's over there? You go over there, them demons, demonic people, get your soul, get your get your your spirit out there. You can get trapped out there, and that's why some people never wake up from their dreams. They come out, they might be in a coma state because they're being held out there by the demons and stuff. 
that's why you 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 won't travel so far that you get to know this realm, know know yourself first, travel around your room first before you try to go too far out. That's why your dreams be simple now. But you're taking more chances when you're having bad dreams and stuff. You're starting to take more chances out there. And that's why your dreams get, man, what, I was going fighting with these people, whatever, and stuff like that. Oh, man, man, what happened to all this stuff, man? You know, your dreams start off beautiful and stuff. Your dreams always start off nice, don't they? Oh, you and your mom and them at the park. Oh, mom, I didn't see my mom. Oh, we are there having a picnic or, you know, at the park and stuff in a basket. The yogi, yogi, what we got there? You know, you having a picnic, you having something like that in a basket at the park. Next thing you know, clouds get dark and lightning starts striking and you're running. Next thing you're separated from your family and you by yourself. Don't your dreams always be something like this? You always start off as a nice dream, but then you end up by yourself somewhere going through some trouble. You know why? Because you wasn't conscious when you went out of, out of your body. You went from the left side, thinking all oh, this just stuff right here, this, this illusional side. So all of them was just illusions around you. Whole family, everybody was illusions. And then you're like, whoa! Now your conscious, your, your unconscious, I say, ha ha, bye bye. And your unconscious leave you out of the trap. And you're like, what the fuck? And then your dreams turn to scary and nightmares. And that's why they're so real, because they is real. And then all these demonic things, God, started going after you. Yeah, you, you fighting, you, you fight like, man, what the hell going on? You kind of fight yourself way back. And then that's when you have somebody comes in trying to be a dream catcher and help your goddamn stinking butt out because you don't listen. Keep trying to help your butt out. And I, 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 I get tired. I try to say y'all butts. Mm -mm, I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna let I'm Next time, I'm gonna start letting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start letting a lot of y'all just go on into the dream world. And when they catch out the when they catch out there, I'm gonna let you let them get you. Cause it make no sense to be so hard here and keep on going to the the areas and stuff, and you ain't ready. Told you, I'm a dream catcher. I'm a spiritual warrior. I'm a beast slayer. I'm a lion king. I'm all that. Whatever name you want to put on me, I'm all that. And I, I, I'm, I'm a da. I like joining them up. I, I, I do damage. But at the same time, I can't be keep giving my strength away, trying to keep guarding these new, new, new ones who ain't gonna listen. Go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. But you better be getting yourself right and vibration right. You can keep partying out here in this third thing, but, but you be conscious about what you're doing. That's what consciousness is. You're consciousness aware. You're aware about everything you're doing. You don't get too much traps on you and stuff because you, you want to be getting out of that left side thinking and getting to right thinking. You know, critical thinking, logic, and all this kind of stuff. You want to you be really start thinking about stuff that you're doing so you don't get trapped out there in that spiritual realm. Because a lot of people can get start getting trapped in the spiritual realm because you got these, let's call them ghosts or ghost spells or de demons, the Damians, really, with the de demons and stuff. Anything that's about, anything that gets you evolving to a higher higher level, evolving to a higher dimension, or evolving to a higher self, is devolving. So that's what your devil. That's why I call them devils. You that word devil a lot. You got nothing to do with your religious. They de evolve, de like degree. That's what devolve, devil, devil. It's against evolving. It's against you evolving. It's the opposite. It's backwards. So it's a devil in me. So when you hear me talk about we talk the devil. It's about these ones out here that's they going the wrong way and they don't want you to go the right way. So they devils. They de evolve. That's why they lie. They evil. People like, you always talk about the devil then. Why you say the devil then if you don't believe in a God? Your Pope is a de it is the devil. So I keep telling you, your Pope is the God, the God is the devil. Because that's your Pope. It's against you evolving. The rock shot them against you evolving. They don't want to see you go up to a higher realm. Because they stuck down here. They can't go nowhere. They turned their clocks all the way back with the wrong way against the most high. The universal creator. Melanin. Dark matter. Serious C. Dark matter womb. Big armor. Mama. Kali. All that. Dark matter. That's why I keep telling you. Keep running to the light. You running toward them when you run into that light. They can like a big playground over there like a big fair a fair is with all this stuff going on oh look at all that bright light over there when it's so dark that's why you always traveling to that light you don't want to go to that light at all that's where they hang out in the light 
See, that's the blood suckers because they get messed up in the darkness because they come in the dark, they come in the dark matter. See, they need a light over there. See, but you got your third eye, you can travel all through this, all through the galaxy and everywhere in the darkness because that light is a beautiful light, that rainbow light, spectrums of color, real colors, red, red, orange, brown, yellow, green, blue, violet, purple. See, the real light colors. Why you see that bright light over there? Where the light workers at? That new age movement? Stay away from them. Stay out that light. Come into the darkness. And then you spark this when you're in the darkness. Because your third out will spark it. And you follow that light. You run into the light. Talk about light workers. That light is the opposite of darkness. melanin dark matter spiritual molecules dark matter don't run to that light all these light workers out here all these so-called gurus out here all these people coming here trying to teach you all this stuff out here it's light workers liars deceivers devolving backwards trying to tell you something it sounds good the information sounds so good yeah but but if it sounds so good and everybody can do this, then why they go around killing all these people and stuff and then they say, oh, we can just do this. I keep telling people, that's against human nature. They talk about all this other stuff like this. Because every time, every time how they end up with all this stuff, say, oh, yeah, and you want to get some money? So they're stuck in that currency world, which is the fake light, which is the fake energy. Make you look outside yourself, try to get material gains and all this kind of stuff outside yourself to keep you in this little light over here chasing this little light fake light when you want to come back into this real light inside of you just darkness you bring it up oh bring it up Stay out that light when you're traveling. Come into the darkness. Start with the right brain thinking first. And then when you start coming back, you write all that stuff down that I told you to keep a pad by your bed. And you start getting better and better. Better and better. Practice makes perfect. Real talk. And then also the next thing you can be on the city bus, or you can be sitting in the car in traffic. And you can have a take off. You're not gonna go check on the kids real quick. I'm so late to this appointment. Oh, I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. You're never gonna be late because you're always gonna be on time if you use your mind. I can be said, you know what? Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Okay, I'll be over there. Mm. I go right there to what I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be going to do. Say if I was going to a business meeting, I would take off my body. I would go into that person that's waiting on me. Oh, man, we, we're not gonna get this deal. We're not gonna get this deal. I'm gonna calm your ass. Calm your monkey ass down. I go slap his ass with my energy. <laughs> shake him down for a second and he's gonna be fighting about him put into his head calm down tell him what to do let's go and do this here uh, repeating what i put inside his head then i boom dip out he gonna say oh my partner he'll be all confident there on my partner because i'll be inside like his side too and i'm gonna tell him exactly what to do and i'm still trying to get to that meeting they say no meeting went going he said ah oh, i get that so how i go oh man yeah they accepted the deal yeah i know how, how do you know man it was in me inside of you fool People know how energy works. Okay? When your mind is powerful, when your mind is right, you can do anything you want to do. That's why I can be anywhere I want to at any time I want to. In more than one place, I can. And that's going to take a lot of time for you. But you can't do everything I can do. You know. <laughs> but I can talk to you live. And I could be sitting right there next to you watching me on the video. Sounds crazy, don't it? Start practicing with the basics. I mean, you ain't gonna get that level because you you to do your past lives. You ain't gonna get that level, but you could you could do everything else right now. All it takes is time and practice. Time and practice. Practice every day. And then when you start doing that, you start talk get you somebody else to start practicing telepathy. 
tell them write something down over there. You write something down, and then you try to visualize what you're thinking. And whatever you wrote down, you picture, you bring it to your head. You see it, you visualize it, you bring it to your head. And you take that item or whatever you saw. Say you wrote down, um, um you wrote down some balls. So you took them balls, <laughs> put it in your head, take the balls and put it in that next person's head. And the, and the person over there telling them to use their brain to see exactly what I'm giving them. And they picture that, what I got, and they go back to my head. That's, I mean, that's, that's, how, that's how you start basic telepathy and stuff. Then next thing you know, you go, you move faster than that. So I change up, so I send the words and everything. Because it's all it's all thoughts. And thoughts are, are waves, radio waves, lines. You want this wave. What thing these cell phones be? You know, going on cell phone, somebody else on the cell phone. That energy went from that phone to a cell tower, to the satellite, to the satellite, to the next one like that. That's all that is. And think about it. You on the phone talking to somebody way across the world on a cell phone. But you think they got some magical power? No, they, they on the worst power there is. Using the machines to do it. So that, that, that's the relay when you can do it direct from a thought. Man, I'd be, I'd be that's, you wonder why your people come to me, man, use my dream. They all right, cause I'm traveling. I mean, I'm man, I'm like I'm like the I'm a nigga a serpent. I'm that snake. I'm I got, I'm wrapped around this mother. I got a direct contact, direct line. Everybody ain't got that. <laughs> so I got it for real. Ain't no joke. Ain't nothing to brag about. Just real talk. But I hope that can help out a little bit. Cause I know they was rambling off of everything else by getting at your body. Cause start practicing. Practice seeing your body leaving and practice everything you're doing and remembering stuff. Going somewhere and doing stuff like that. That's why I can be on the phone with somebody and I'm like, what you got on? Or something like that. And I already know what they got on. But sometimes I can't get the, sometimes the colors, man. If I'm not focused good, I might get the colors. I can't get the colors, but I'll be like, you got some shorts on? Yeah, I got some shorts on. <laughs> why you not playing with yourself, girl? You know, let me stop, let me stop. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But anyway, I just got up from this quick and and I was said to talk a little bit about astral travel and stuff. So I hope this can help out some of y'all with astral travel, out of body experience and everything. But it's gonna be hard for you people who got a TV because your TV is all left brain thinking. And it's, it's, it's hard to get away from it. That's the worst thing you ever, ever can do to a, a human body. A body of light is put a TV with false light and fake light in it. And it's, it's, it classifies your brain and you cannot go nowhere. You're stuck. You're killing your soul. The TV is killing your soul. Everything glitter is not gold. So that thing glittering over there, it's not gold. It's fake gold. It's fool's gold. You the fool they playing. Real talk. Think about it. Think. Think about it. Right brain. Think. You don't want to be looking at these two eyes. You want to look at that one eye. When it comes to a pyramid thing, you're doing it. Because it's only the third dimension right here. All this junk is third dimension. You want to come to that light being. Alright, this boy, the super manner. 13 sun. See you in the astral world if you can get there.